That's correct, Catherine. Daniel O'Dell is no longer required to register as a sex offender. However, he was convicted of failing to register back in 2005. Odell is charged with a pattern of aggravated felonious sexual assaults for assaults that allegedly took place 24 years ago. According to court paperwork, the young girl was known to him and the alleged assaults would often happen at his home. The affidavit says at the time the young girl was eight or nine years old. Now, the prosecutor told the court that while Odell does not have an extensive criminal record, there was a time back in 97 in a different case when he was required to register as a sex offender, which led to a conviction. He did register as a sex offender for a 10-year period. Um, that, that is common with a Tier 1 sex offender. Um, during that time, he was convicted of duty to report and was found guilty of uh, not complying with his sexual offender registration requirements. Now, the affidavit says Odell's girlfriend, Sherry Latondra, was there when the sexual assaults happened and that she participated. She's also been charged with criminal liability for aggravated sexual assault. She had her bail set at $350 cash and was ordered not to have any contact with anyone under 18 or the alleged victim. Odell was also ordered not to have any contact with anyone under 18 or the alleged victim. He, however, was released on personal recognizance bail. Both are due back in court March 27th for their probable cause hearing. Reporting live in Manchester, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.